Hi guys, welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. We've created a custom login page for you today. If I go up here to my login link, it's going to take you to this page, and that looks a bit, of, and that looks a bit nicer than the generic login page that you get. And of course, you can put in your title here and your password, and log into the site. And don't forget with Divi, if you go down to Divi down at the bottom here, they've got a fantastic role editor for your users and you can assign your users various different things they are and are not allowed to access here. That's a great little feature. We covered that in past videos. That's Divi role editor right there. Okay, well, let's get started. I'm gonna get rid of this. I'm gonna close this down and I'm gonna start from scratch. First thing I'm gonna do is create a new page. I guess I'll call it login. Obviously use the Divi Builder. I'm gonna go ahead and build from scratch. I'm gonna use a single column in my row and I'm gonna find a login module. There it is right there. Obviously put your title in there. whatever you want to say, obviously, and content down here. Regular text field, you can align, size, bold, add titles and media if you need to. If you want to redirect them afterwards, once they log in, you've got to redirect here. If you want to redirect them back to the current page when they log in, you can flip this to on. No point giving that a link, really. Background, well, let's keep this fairly simple. All I'm going to do is go in there. I'm going to change that to a back black background. I'm going to take the opacity down a bit because I'm going to have an image behind it. It will look a little grey right there. Let's leave it at that for the moment and we'll position it where we actually want it and make sure it's going to look good on all of our devices here. So I'm going to save my changes. When they go to this page, I don't want it to be sort of half a page like this. I really want it to stretch the whole of their screen size, whatever screen size they're looking at it on. So I'm going to go into my section going to go over to design and down to sizing I'm going to make mine height wise 100 VH for viewable height so it's 100 VH and you'll see that bottom bars disappeared it's actually down here because it's made it 100% of the height of the screen we're looking on now it might be a little too much if you want your little footer to appear in there just adjust it accordingly you can maybe take it back to 90 or whatever works let's take it down some more there we go 82 vh seems to work great i also want my module here to appear in the middle at all times on the screens here so what i'm going to do is write one tiny little bit of code to make this work so I'm going to go over to my advanced. I'm going to go down to custom CSS. In the main element right here, I'm simply going to write display colon flex. I'll put this down below for anybody that needs it, but it really is as simple as that. And that now is going to sit in the middle of our screen, which is great. If you decide that you don't that you don't think it's central enough because we're really looking at the whole of our screen here or it's looking at the whole of our screen here so it might be slightly off center seeing as we've adjusted it for our footer there you can actually adjust the module itself and to adjust it we can go into our little module here design wise we'll go down to spacing for this one we can do it with a bit of negative margin if you just hit the little arrow to take it down or you can just type in a negative value I'm actually going to use percent instead of pixels so I'm going to select the PX there and just put the percent sign in and you'll notice it's jumped up a little bit already just increment it up to where you want it looks about right to me but obviously adjust yours how you need it and then you can check it on mobile and tablet so look on tablet I think that's okay on tablet on mobile yeah that's absolutely fine on mobile too good so it's where we want it let's take it back to desktop mode okay well let's just make this a little more interesting seeing as it's a custom login page I'm simply going to put in an image background 
So a little blue tab for the section again. We go in there, background wise. As with all things Divi, you've got fantastic background options, color, gradient, image, video, background pattern, or background mask. I'm simply going to pop in that image that I used just now, which was that one, I believe. There it is right there. If you want to, you could use a parallax effect on it. That'd be kind of nice. Of course, you've got parallax and various different image options down here for displaying your images. I'm going to leave mine just like that. I'm not going to use parallax because they've really got not enough to scroll there. So it won't make much difference. OK, well, let's just finish off by making this module slightly more exciting or make it our own. I'm going to go back into the module. I think I'm going to go to my design. Let's make my button perhaps purple in color. I'll just pull this across here. Use custom styles for button. I'm going to keep it very, very simple. Button text color is fine at white. Background color for the button I'm going to make purple. And border, I'll make that purple as well. And let's just change it on hover for the button border. This is common to all Divi modules. If you hover over the dark writing within a module, you'll see some icons appear. If there's a little arrow, we can set a hover state. Desktop states when your mouse not is not on it. Hover states when your mouse is on it, funnily enough. Let's change that to blue. And we'll do the same thing up at the top with the actual background color. Little arrow hover state change it to blue that's all I'm gonna do just change it back there okay well let's pop down past the button and we've got icons and box shadows and everything you need there I'm gonna leave that just as it is and the only other thing I think I'll do here I'm gonna go into my border give it some slightly rounded corners there and let's just give it a glow so it stands off the page I'm gonna use box shadow for that I'm gonna use that one and obviously you can't see it very much because it's dark. I'm just going to change it to a white color. You can get some nice neon type glow effects by using this with colors and things like that. And we've done plenty of videos on that as well. OK, well, let's put that back to white. And I think we're pretty much good to go with our login form. Now, of course, before this is work, this is going to work. You want to put it up in your actual menu up here because you don't want them going to WP admin. So I'm going to save this. You want to make sure that it's published. Saving your draft's not going to work because you won't be able to put it on your menu. So let's publish it. Now we can go to our dashboard, down to appearance, and then down to menus. Let's remove the one that I had there already. Obviously, you won't see any difference in the menu, but I'm going to just show you how to do this anyway. There's our new page, login. Let's add it to the menu. And there it is. Save menu button at the bottom. OK, what I'm going to do is I'll visit this site in a new tab or in an incognito tab. So I'm not actually logged in. So I'm going to get the URL. Control C to copy. Let's open the incognito tab. Paste it in there. There's our site up there. There's my little login. So I can come up here, click the login. And there's our new little login page. And folks can log in. And there you have it. So there you go, guys. There's how to create a quick and easy custom login page for your site. And it does look so much better than the other one. Let's just exit the visual builder. And let's make sure it's going to look good on all devices. I'm using Google Chrome with the inspector tools. So I'm going to bring up my inspector. Let's roll this down a bit and take a look at it on tablet and mobile. Here it is on an iPhone 12. I've got it larger than it should be there. I'm logged in at the moment. Let's look at it on an iPad. And there it is on iPad nicely in the middle of the screen there. And again, I'm logged in, so you'd have your login credentials over here. So there you go, guys. There's how to create a very easy, simple login page for your Divi website. Really easy to do and a lot more interesting than the default WP admin page. 
I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. Don't forget, if you have any questions, drop them below the video and I'll do my best to answer them or make a demo video for you. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignInTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.